Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. I am Bella K if you're new here and welcome back to another video. So you guys for this video, I just kind of want to just ramble and talk about this topic that's just really near and dear to my heart, okay? Um, But it's just like, I don't know. I just can you just vibe with me real quick because I just want to talk about this whole topic of just launching Ooh, my hair. I just want to talk about this whole topic of just launching. If you've been following me on social media, you know, I've been talking about this subject for a while now um, through just my content and my stories and stuff. But I just really, really want to help you guys get down the art of launching a new business, a new product, a new service. So you won't be hearing crickets on launch day and realizing like, what happened? What did I do wrong? I want to kind of give you guys some just tips and some value. And I also have something to share with you guys a little later on in the video. So make sure you stay tuned with that because I'm coming out with something special that will help you launch it successfully. Okay. So, um, yeah, if you don't know anything about me, I'm Vela K. I am a full-time entrepreneur. I started my journey with a t-shirt business called Vela K Clothing. Um, right now I kind of transitioned into coaching and helping other entrepreneurs with their business and getting them unstuck and just getting them together so that is pretty much my brand i am now helping other entrepreneurs with their business and launching their business and rebranding their business and promoting their business and just different things like that so i am your go-to person to just get unstuck i'm the person to help you get to the next level or start the level or whatever whatever right so that is me so i kind of want to talk about this subject um regarding launches so whether you're launching a new business or a product or maybe you're maybe you have a service-based business and you're launching your services or new services or whatever right here's a little backstory of why i'm so kind of a little bit obsessed with like marketing and marketing your launch and creating content and stuff like that is because when i first started my t-shirt company bella k clothing um I didn't really know what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Of course, like any other new business owner, we don't know what we're doing. When I first started, um, I prepared for my lunch, whatever, whatever. But on the first day of my lunch, I made $28, right? I only sold one t-shirt on my first day. If you guys want to go back, I think I have a video where, um, actually the first video of my entrepreneur series, you guys can kind of see that journey whatever so i expressed in the video how i was so upset that i only got one order you know i just created this website i spent so much time on my website i set up a photo shoot and everything everything and i only got one order so i was a little upset but as the time went on i realized what i did wrong and that was not having a launch strategy i thought back then you can just post on social media blah 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 let people know this is the date is launching this is what you can get boom that's it and wrong a lot of times people think they can just post here no i'm gonna post there okay launch day's here i'm ready to sell out no so first things first you need to create a solid marketing strategy okay and that is more than just posting on your feed here and there or even every day because a lot of people think that okay i'm promoting every day because i'm posting on my feed no it's more than that um engage with people through stories you know um go live explaining your new product or your new service give them a up close look at it um show if you have like a um jewelry company let them know see the quality on live try it on layer it make it look cute um a huge thing is creating a email or text marketing list right so in order people when so in order to get people sign up maybe you can offer them some sort of incentive say something like if you sign up to my list you can get 20 percent off your first order or your next order if you sign up for my list get a free product or whatever whatever but that text and email marketing is key is a key 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 um component to your marketing strategy because of course we just cannot rely on social media instagram nor facebook because we don't own that you know instagram shuts down at least once a week or once a month or something but we just have to have um we have to be able to reach our own customers um, on our own terms and not necessarily through Instagram or Facebook. So creating those lists is going to be key, right? So figure out what you're going to do as far as reaching your audience and figure out how many times you're going to do that. Be like, okay, I want to post on my feed about my product 
at least three times a week up until my launch. I want to show up on stories at least every I want to show up on stories every day up until my lunch. I want to go live the week of my lunch to give my audience a closer view of what they're getting or whatever, whatever. But you have to create a strategy. Find some sort of way to pull your audience in. If you sell lotion, let people know why this is the most moisturizing lotion that you have out there. And you can do that by creating some sort of reel or TikTok, showing people how moisturized your skin is after you put on my lotion. Or you can show somebody real ashy and say, oh, look at y'all, look at this, look how moisturized her skin is. Or if you sell some type of um, facial products or like black, um, African black soap, you can show like how I had acne before, I used my product and look, my skin is clear. So you have to learn how to pull your audience in, create a solid marketing strategy and figure out how much you're gonna show up throughout that marketing strategy. So create a plan, strategize, <laughs> you guys, you guys, you guys. And it's so easy. And a lot of times you make it more complicated than what it is. But if if you have a bomb product, let your product speak for itself, period. If you have a dope design, t-shirt design, style that thing, let it speak for itself. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta show your people, your audience, hey, this is it. Listen, we are bomb. We got this. You know what I'm saying? This is a bomb product. You need to get it. So the last thing I want to talk about is the confidence behind promoting something that's new. Whether it's a new product or if you're just do, trying to start a new business, have confidence in it. I know for a lot of us, I know for a lot of people showing up on social media and marketing your business or whatever rhetoric can be a little intimidated, especially if you don't, if you're not used to it. But the best way to break free from the fear of showing up on social media is by showing up. Okay. Um, I like to tell my clients that, you know, start off with just making a small goal for yourself. Okay. Well, I'm going to get on stories at least twice this week. I'm going to do that and I'm going to commit to that. Okay, next week I'm going to try to, or even two weeks after that, I'm going to try getting on three times a week. And then, okay, well, let me try at least every day I'm going to show up on stories. The best way to get over the fear of showing up and marketing your business is just by doing it. A lot of people get upset about the outcome being not what they expected as far as a launch, but they haven't showed up. And I get that it can be a little intimidating putting yourself out there, especially if you're not known for doing something like this. But the best way to do it is just to show up. You have to show up for your business. You don't have to necessarily show your face, but show people what you're doing. It is so easy to show up when you have a product-based business. You can just show the product. You know what I'm saying? You necessarily don't have to show your face. You can just show the product. If it's like clothing or something like that, recruit family members or friends who have confidence, who know how to take pictures. For, have them show up for you. So the best way to just get over the fear um, of showing up and putting yourself out there is to just do it. In the end, you will have a great launch now for the surprise you guys i am coming out with a marketing course that will help you launch successfully so this course will be dropping may 21st and i want you guys to know so you guys can be prepared it's not your average marketing course it's not your average marketing course where you'll just get a pdf file and you have to teach yourself like no I will be walking you through the lessons, me teaching you, talking you through the lesson and teaching you how to launch your new business, your new product, your new service successfully, setting you up for an amazing launch so you can get the results that you need because I know what it feels like not making some money on my, once you launch. I know what that feels like. I use these strategies all the time. That's how I was able to sell 50 ebooks in my first month of my ebook dropping. That's how I was able to sell out my group coaching program um, last round of Break for University because I use these strategies and I apply them to my business. I want to help you guys. It's going to be something that's going to be very affordable for you guys and it will have so much value in it we will go over your brand messaging and how to communicate to your audience through your messaging i will give you strategy i will give you content ideas you guys know i am the queen of tiktok okay and i will show you how to do that with your business and not only just tiktoks and stuff but how to show up on stories and instagram live and whatever whatever you know i <laughs> 
I am so excited about this and I hope you guys are excited too. So thank you guys for watching this video. I thank you so much. I hope this little ramble was very much so valuable to you and helped you kind of realize if you're about to start a business or launch a new product or whatever, give you some tips and tricks and just some insight on what you can do better in creating that strategy. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps the algorithm put my videos out there because we, we kind of went down a little bit. It really helps my videos get out there and leave a comment down below and let me know um, what type of business owner are you? What What's your business? What's your business name? Um, what type of products do you sell? Are you a product-based business or a service-based business? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I would love to get a better feel of what you do. And on that note, I will see you in the next video. Bye. It's a hope we slowly kind of moon and tonight we all